talk about some subject a little bit unusual, but uh, well, I don't usually talk about religion and uh, something related to the people belief, you know. But uh, how do I gonna explain this as well? I, I gonna sort of like take a bit from the subject. going to be difficult subject, difficult topic to mention, but let's talk about uh, language, literature, uh, Greek mythology, Greek language, uh, how deep is the Greek language that we don't understand in the Greek. Peculiar that the actual uh, how do you say it? It's gonna be hard to explain it in words. Uh, we're talking about how superior this language is. This uh, words and how that for all this time we thought. In Greece is the oldest uh, language. Apparently, it's Greek. Then we're going to try to connect the Dionysus, the buckle up, just get ready for this uh, scary, scary journey that we're going to have. Uh, I just found this guy, his name, Dr. Amon Hillman. He is a uh, uh, classic in Greek. He got the knowledge, the actual knowledge, the understanding in Greek. It's it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, this video is a bit tense at the moment, but this is a little scene at the moment that we will do it. Uh, physiotherapy high school. Church, but uh, the Catholic Church actually banned him, uh, banned him, and tried to prosecute him uh, and accused him for theft by the Turkish government. So let's start with this one and buckle up in this situation. Let's become a, a student instead of religious person. We want to know somehow where our religion comes from. As Muslim, Christian, Catholic, uh, all of the Abrahamic religion, no? So let's start with this beautiful segment from Danny. Don't forget, this guy is. Don't be, don't be surprised how he talk. But he is an expert in his field.
in terms of God, he's talking about uh, the old Greek, not the not the modern Greek. He's talking about. He's actually talking about the original language from the antiquity.
also, the beauty about this, uh, we took the land of the Israel, so-called the Hebrews or Jews, it's actually, they speak gr uh, Greek. They're using Greek language. So that's why Greek is was dominate the ancient world back in the day, okay? Let's continue this one. Uh, should be good.
gelap. Sorry. talking about this guy is an expert in the ancient Greek and everything that he quotes is exist he reading it he didn't made it up that is the truth in the paper which is uh, from Greek it's an old language obviously then move on to Hebrew then from Hebrew go to uh, Latin, I think, yeah, and from Latin we go to English, and from English, all of this language evolved to something else, and the craziest part about that, remember back in the day, the Roman Catholic loved to conquer the world, uh, burning uh, library, burning book, like the library of uh, Alexandria and all that, it's actually it's haste, big haste. Uh, this is what Trump actually, instead of me keep talking about this one, let's watch it together. This is my fifth time now watching this video and uh, it's fascinating. This guy is a maniac, the best. He know how to tell a story. And to me, he sounds crazy or he sounds out there excited. But I can understand his excitement. Like every one of us. I was born Muslim and I never you know, cannot just believe all of this lang the religion and stuff like that, you know, like the Bible, the Quran, the whatever whatever two other books in there, all the books that coming from the Abrahamic religion. Which this is what we talking about now. Where they come from, where they originate. So if you are Muslim, say you believe in uh, uh Masih or whatever you call that one, uh, Jesus, uh, the messenger. Uh, if you believe that, well, you believe this guy. And if you hear this one, shake your belief in the shake the original Islam, the original Islam. Sorry, I mean, what's that? Greek is a couple thousand years be 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 you know be from this guy. Proven in here, the challenge every one of us to show us where is in the Bible or where is in the holy book that Jesus actually speak in Aramaic or Hebrew. No, he speak in Greek. That's his English and that's it. For those of you that can translate it, read it, and understand your translation, but pretty much everything that they mention is about the book in the Bible or what we call it Islam. You got a master degree in, in uh, <laughs> in the language, in antiquity, in uh, uh, what do you call that one? In medicine, in pharmacy, pharmacy, sorry, all medicine from the past. So that's what make this guy so interesting. He understand term of the pharmaceutical, the term of medicine, term of the drug, term of what people do back in the day. Let's listen to it.
I got to pause this a little bit. I'm just going to tell me, explain about the Google translation about what they're talking about. They're using, Google actually just using any language. Uh, banget, I don't think they are exist in Indonesian, uh, what you call that, vocabulary, yeah. In Indonesian, what? Guru, I reckon banget is a, I don't know if they already put them in Indonesian, uh, what do you call that, grammar and vocabulary. But uh, banget, uh, correct them wrong, they slang it to say query. So we talk about this guy is going to study pharmaceutical language from the ancient Greek in the last 2,000 years. This is crazy. And then now he's going to explain the meaning of each one of these words. Remember I told you guys before about the Dead Sea Scroll? This one. Yeah. Yeah, just eat him alive. We talk about the Dead Sea Scroll is not even as original that what we think they are, or not even as old or ancient that what we think they are. So let's listen to this. This is going to be, buckle up. Like I say, buckle up, right? We're ready for this. It's going to be big. 